This is a Seiko Kinetic watch. In this video, we're gonna successfully change the capacitor. It's no longer keeping charge. See the needle barely moves and then it stops. So first order of business, we need to find out what kind of capacitor it needs. So in order to do that, uh, we come to the back of the watch and the number is right here. So it's a Seiko 5M62. So we're gonna need to get that battery. So I already ordered it and here it is for a capacitor. So this is the capacitor for it right there. It comes with everything you need It's a little kit. Okay, so this is the number for it right there. You're also gonna need some tools. We're gonna need something to hold the vessel. So I got this right here. We're gonna also need something to take the back of the watch off right there. We're also gonna need a flathead screwdriver in order to remove the capacitor from there and we also have a little piece of plastic i like to use that when we're taking off the back of the watch so let's start with that let's put plastic on there so we don't scratch it and then we're gonna remove the back and then see what's inside okay we have a vessel tight inside the holder now we can start to remove the back of it. Once we have it loose, we can use our fingers just to take, take it off the rest of the way. Okay, in here is where we're gonna find our capacitor which is right there so this is the part that we're gonna have to remove we're gonna have to remove this part and let's get to it I'm gonna start by removing the parts I got this glass dish in order to hold the screws you don't want to lose any of those so let's start with the first part which would be this here so we're gonna remove that screw first so let's get to it Now we're going to look at this part here, this gear, we want to make sure that when we remove it, we're looking at how it comes out. So you see these grooves that push up, it's got the bevel top, make sure that it goes back in that way. Okay, now we have our capacitor, so we're going to remove these two screws right there. And then we're going to get our capacitor out. All right, so this is the old one right here. I'm paying attention to how it came out. So here is our new capacitor. Let's uh, take it out of the bag and we'll do the battery first and then we'll put everything else on it, including the little red gasket right there. So let's open it up. Okay, let's line it up and put it in exactly how we got it out so this part this part you can tell see make sure you use something wooden or something ceramics but that make sure it's not metal so you don't want to mess up the capacitor Now 
It should fit in there perfectly. One thing to note when you're changing this capacitor, you want to make sure when you put it back in, you see this little notch right there. Make sure that this is in that notch in order for it to be stable inside the watch. So I make sure that this part right here, it's aligned and inside that little notch in order for you. If, if you don't do that, it might not work be out so you don't want to make that mistake and then the next part is to put the little red gasket around it and then we're going to screw everything back on Okay, now comes the tricky part. That's to put the original screws that came. By the way, the kit doesn't come with the screws, so you don't want to lose the screws. So we're going to take the original screws, and we're going to put them in these two spots. So let's give it a shot. Hopefully everything works out. Now we have successfully put the screws back in. Okay, I use this and then I also use this little wooden stick to hold down this piece in order for those screws to be put in properly. So it took a little bit of time and some effort, but we finally got them in. Now comes the next part, which is we're gonna put this two pieces back in. So we're gonna start with, not with this bigger piece, but with this smaller piece here. If you remember how we took it out, we gotta put it back in the same exact way. So let's do that now. So make sure the bevels are up. Okay. Now, put this part back in and this part goes in like this so that this writing is facing up you don't want to put it in like that. You want to make sure it's like this. All right, you're going to feel when it's correctly put in. Now let's screw it back in with that little tiny screw. Hopefully we won't have too many issues. So let's give that a shot right now. So now everything's back in place. We were able to get all other things back in there. Now we just need to put the back on it and now we can just check and see how the watch is doing in the front. As you can see, it's moving perfectly. It's not stuttering. It's just moving the way it's supposed to go. Um, so I'm just gonna put the back on it and then that'll be the end of it. And that's how you successfully put the capacitor back into the Seiko Kinetic watch.